Hi, this is CB, and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about custom brush making. If you want to make your own brush, because you can make a brush out of almost anything in Photoshop, but we're going to be using the custom shape tool to make a pretty simple brush, just to get you started on the idea of making your own brushes. So I have element 6 open here and a blank file. I want to mention that when you're creating brushes, you have a maximum size that you're going to be able to create and that is usually when you're talking about a 300 pixel per inch file, a high res file, it's going to be about 8 by 8 inches wide. That's going to be about the maximum. If you stay below 8 by 8 or no more than that, then you'll definitely be able to create it. But other than that, it's just considered too big for the program to handle. So I've got a 3 by 3 file open here, a blank file at 300 pixels per inch, and black is set as my foreground color because we want to create a brush that is fully opaque that you can't see through at all really so it'll put down the maximum amount of ink so to speak when you stamp with this brush and the brush sees when it's creating a brush it sees things in terms of black and white where if I were to try to create a brush now with white it wouldn't stamp anything it would just have transparent pixels because it will view white as transparency and black as the maximum amount of ink as I said that it'll put down so I've got the custom shape tool here picked and I've got a shape already that I chose for this. This is one of the crop shapes from the set elements here. If you click this little right arrow and you'll see crop shapes is checked. So that's this one right here. And I'm going to draw this out holding the shift key out as I do it so it will keep the circle, the swirl thingy here in proportion and let go there. Now this is a vector image right now and I'm going to need to use this simplify button down here to finish up making the shape. So if I hit that, then now if you look at the thumbnail you'll see we just got black swirly shape on transparent pixels which is exactly what I want. So the next step I'm going to hold down the control key or command on the Mac and make a selection around this so I can tell the program this is what I want my brush to be. If I go into edit, the edit menu, Oops, edit menu. <laughs> You'll see define brush from selection. As I said, I just made a selection and this is what I want to do is tell it here's the brush I want. So click on that. It gives you the little thumbnail, tells you the size of it, and you can go ahead and name it here. We'll call it swirled circle just for a lack of good name here. <laughs> And now it will put this as a brush, if you go into your brush tools, at the very bottom of whatever brush set you had picked by, in this case it was the default brushes, and if you see the very last one on here is my new brush. See it's even got the pixel number and the thumbnail there. So now that I've got that clicked, let me close this file up. I'm going to just ma minimize it, but you could close it and choose a new blank file to work with here if I can get it to pop up there. And I'm going to shrink my brush size down a little bit, work on a new layer, as I have said in the other tutorials, and pick a color here to work with and just show you that now I can stamp all over this paper with my brush. I can change quickly the color of this to something else and you know stamp around. I can change the size and go around and, you know even draw with it but I was using this more like a rubber stamp type of thing so that's now it's a brush and I will go ahead and minimize that again. Show you that I did a paper earlier today here with that same brush just to show you give you an idea of what you can do with just one simple brush even you can go around and change colors and do fun stuff like that let's talk about saving your brush now because as I said it's at the end of this default brushes set and you could put it there what if you don't want all of those other brushes in your set you want to maybe start a brand new set so let's go into the edit menu and choose the preset manager once it loads up, by default I think it usually does choose brushes. Now I, ha I can tell you that when I started using Elements the preset manager was almost a mystery to me. It didn't make sense quite how it worked and loading brushes and saving brushes it was all sort of hit and miss for me for a while. But I do use the preset manager now and it's not really as hard as it seemed to be at first. So right now what I've got is all these default brushes loaded plus my new brush and I want to make a new set of brushes that's like the default brushes but it's not going to be called default brushes I'll just call it Chris's brushes or something so first thing I need to do is get rid of all these other brushes in the set so I'm going to click on this first one hold down my shift key and click on the last one and that selects everything but this last brush and then I'm going to delete them off now I want to save this brand new set and I'm going to click on that to select it if I have more than one brush in this already to save 
Make sure all the brushes you want to save are selected highlighted. You can do it by clicking and holding shift or clicking and holding control and clicking each brush. Just make sure that you see each one of them highlighted that like that. Choose Save Set, and we're going to give it a brand new name. You can see all my brushes here. I'm just going to call this Chris's Brushes, just for the sake of argument here. And click the Save button. And now, I can hit Done. And when I go into, it won't be in this set because of where I had my particular sets of brushes saved as a different place. So I have to actually load them in here by clicking the right arrow. Choosing Load Brushes, and now my folder that has all these brushes is in there and you'll see here's Chris's brushes and when I load it there's the new brush I created. So now it's there every time I want it. I'm CB. I hope this has helped you learn how to make a custom brush and, and get the beginnings of really exploring brushes. Thanks for watching.